this is the sea and tarot so we're going to dive into the next 48 and then in the next video i will be doing the next 24 okay so let's just get into it and see what we have for you this is the next 48 hours so if it does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt you guys it really helps the video and the channel to grow we're almost at 70k cannot believe it super excited to see that number probably tonight or tomorrow 70k's <laughs> I am super excited. Thank you for all of you that have joined the team, have joined the channel. Um, you guys are amazing. So we, we, we deserve this, right? We deserve this. So let's get into the next 48 hours. Make sure your videos are 300 likes, you guys. Once it hit 300, I will be selecting someone from the comments section. So make sure you guys are double tapping or <laughs> um you just liking the video okay and make sure to comment down below because that's where i'll be selecting the person who wins all right and then i will be posting the winner on the community wall all right so let's see what we have for you holy spirit holy angels holy father what's going on here for gemini's energy in the next 48 hours Gemini energy in the next 48 hours. Remove anything that is of the darkness and replace it with light. Protect me as I get into the energy and protect me as I release myself from the energy as well. So let's see what we have for you in the next 48 hours for Gemini's. What's the energy for gems? Energy for gems. Next 48. Wow, the Empress is like the first card that came out for you um, for the next 48. I'm also seeing the Three of Swords energy, and then you have the Ten of Swords as well. Kind of similar to what I picked up within your last read here. But tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, the Six of Cups. So this is something to do with the past energy. I'm also seeing a conversation within the next 48 hours. So this is good. I feel like, you know, a way to definitely get out of this conflict. I'm also seeing the sun here. So Leo energy and a lot of happiness, you know, a lot of choosing yourself and definitely tapping into that happiness energy. All right. Um, I do see the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords energy, a lot of, you know, overthinking, a lot of balance that is also needed within this situation for the next 48. I'm also seeing forgiven or closing chapters that is also necessary for the next 48 hours. Um, I feel like this could also be from, you know, the situation that you were in um, with someone else or just from the past, but it kind of lingered and now you're getting like these triggering moments within the relationship and i feel like you know that you need to let this go because it's affecting your relationship it's affecting you this is also about healing and mentally protecting yourself and physically protecting yourself uh, yourself as well because a lot of you feel like you have been attached within this energy when it comes to mental health when it comes to physical health so i'm just seeing like a release wanting a release of energy trying to heal look at that the three of swords trying to heal this situation um within libra trying to have some form of force of balance why am i stumbling over my words within the three of uh, swords energy and i'm also seeing some kind of codependent energy so it's like you're letting go of someone but someone is stuck stuck on you or someone is codependent or someone has been using you as well maybe they had a mask on this whole time okay and finally you're seeing who they truly are and you're realizing that this person is not the person that you thought they were this person doesn't have much in common with you anymore um you're just seeing like this energy of maybe a bad choice um trusting someone very quickly without doing any form of research or um you know just getting that wisdom that you know really judging things from experience i feel like this was something very sudden and quick that you jumped into and now you're seeing this person for what they truly are which is virgo energy is major arcana leo energy here for those of you who resonates with virgo or leo 
I'm also seeing that Scorpio's energy is coming out in the Six of Cups here. Scorpio rules the Six of Cups. And this is also about a past situation or someone that you had a relationship with for a long time. This could also be someone that you had in a past life as well that is also coming back into your present moment within this, this lifetime. And I feel like within this energy, there's also this pull with this person. So there could be some form of attraction. This could also be love for those of you with the Six of Cups. But I feel like with the Six of Cups here, it's also the contract. And I just feel like you guys are not finished within this energy. Um, even though you're going through problems with each other, okay, or within your situation within the next 48 where you just need to release, you need to heal, all right? Because a lot of you are going through some kind of heartbreak. A lot of you are going through something very severe within this Three of Swords being here. Okay, it's not in it's not in the past. The Three of Swords has shown up as in the present moment. So a lot of you are going through this now. Okay, um, just a disclaimer. Um, not really a disclaimer, but it's storming outside. I don't know what's going on, but you might hear thunder, lightning, uh, rain, all kinds of stuff. So just wanted you guys to know if you hear any crazy noises, but I do have my meditation music on as well. So yeah, because this mic do pick up everything. <laughs> so this is what I'm picking up here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Divine God. Ooh, I'm just seeing a lot of positive vibes coming your way, but let's talk about this first. We have the Ace of Swords. We also have the King of Cups and the High Priestess. So that's interesting. Okay. So the High Priestess energy is definitely giving me you vibe where you are tapped into your spirituality. You're tapped into what's going on around you. This person doesn't like that. And I feel like this could be a problem because this is someone that is trying to disvalue you or put you down in some kind of way. Um, this could be an older energy than you okay i'm seeing like you might be the same age but it's like they're acting like they're older than you or they know more than you but they their information is is not something that you want to bet on you know what i mean so you have to be very careful with that energy but i'm also seeing cancer here as major arcana okay we have the king of cups as well in reverse so there's a lot of emotional connection here and also emotional man manipulation here um i'm just getting like this person is making you feel like you owe them in some form of way but with this ace of swords there is some kind of spirit or a godly power that is being implemented with this where there's going to be some form of breakthrough and everything is going to be up into the surface so whatever this person thought that they won within this situation just know that this situation is it's not what it seems right now okay it's not what it seems right now within the ace of swords there's going to be some kind of um light divine light coming through this whole form of foundation to like shake this all up and possibly put put it back to where it needs to be balanced out i'm also seeing here the hermit energy wow we have the knight of pentacles and the magician so we have gemini's here within the magician also we have virgo energy showing up as well that shares this beautiful energy i feel like there's a lot of positive vibration that is coming in right there's a lot of prayer manifestation you know really just like tapping into the third eye here um having your crown chakra open to receive the information and download from the divine god it's like you're definitely planting positive seeds whether that is of being of service and really planting seeds upon your enemies positive seeds upon your en en enemies even though they might just do a lot of crazy things for you to you why can't i speak today okay I might just do a lot of crazy things to you but you're still like planting positive seeds against everyone and you're just really in that positive mindset and so you're taking back your power too i feel like you do have an offer like somebody wants you to be patient and wait after pushing you away and trying to really 
um, affect your spirituality because the hermit here is in reverse and I feel like you knew that you always had a path to take and this path might just be by yourself but you didn't know that you were going to push into this journey on your own this way the way people just disrespect you talk about you this was activated because of everything that you went through um, and you were pushed into this situation you were pushed uncomfortably away from this relationship so it's like they were it's i just feel like they were making you feel like you're not welcome here or they were not wanting making you feel like you were you know stable within this connection or secure in this connection they were just doing too many things and i feel like you knew what's going on here and then you try you started to get triggered you just started to get triggered you're you are having dreams visions within the high priestess you felt this you knew this and now you have to heal look at that this is why the three of swords is also in the upright this is a present moment this is what you've been going through this is a, a heartbreak you cannot believe this some of you some of you have been facing a bad breakup as well like this person um backstabbed you okay and the healing has not yet begun by the way because you still have the three of swords and you also have this ten of swords energy as well so tell me more holy spirit okay so you have the ten of wands you have the ace of wands and then you have the three of wands this is a lot of wands so aries leo or sag I do see Leo in the the sun energy here already. So Leo made their way within this this read um, for sure. Okay, but we have a lot of wands here, so a lot of baggage that is also being released within the next forty eight hours. And we also have the Ace of Wands in release as well, or some kind of hiccup or delay. Um, I do see the three of wands in reverse as well. So the three of wands in reverse, I just feel like this has been happening for a while where there was a distance here between you and this energy. And this was emotional. I'm just getting emotional here, okay? Emotional or physical. So there was a lot of attraction that you had with this person. This could have been a Pisces for some of you. The king of cups is ruled by Pisces. Um... And there was just a lot of manipulation. I'm also seeing cancer here for those of you that are dealing with the cancer with the high priestess energy. But I just feel like the baggage, like you're deciding to release this baggage is not yours. You put a hold on this relationship or this connection. You stop dealing with this person for some of you. So this was a breakup. And I feel like this is like you're still hurting from this for some reason. But this person is giving me like this energy as if this happened a while back like this distance between you and this person has been happening for such a long time so this is nothing like this came out of the blues energy this is not what i'm getting i just feel like this person and you has been going through this up and down for a while and then you have the 10 here the 10 of wands so there's a lot of burden that this person carries with them there's a lot of burden this is heavy relationship I'm also seeing a conversation. So we have the queen and the king. So you guys are supposed to be in each other's life for spiritual advisement and growth. Okay. So we have the king of swords, which is Gemini's energy. So congratulations, Gemini's. You're open to conversation. And then we have the nine of pentacles here. And then we have the well. So there's so much that you and this person needs to talk about. You know it. You feel it. This is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy within the well. Um, and then we have, whew, what is this? We have the nine of pentacles. So I just feel like you're giving this a lot of independence. You're giving this a lot of power. You're giving this a second chance. For some of you because you're looking at this as you're not going to be codependent on this person you are showing up very depend like i'm sorry not dependent very independent that's the word very independent right here very solo vibes 
you want to communicate you want to put this to bed whatever this is that you and this person is going through within the next 48 hours and i'm seeing like you're you're in your power you're in your power but there is an energy of there's so much going on that this person might not be open and i feel like they're blocking this this energy of like finding out what's going on between you and them within this situation or within them within their energy but i do feel like they're going to communicate with you because you have the king and the queen of swords wow both of you are ready for communication i feel like this is a spiritual growth thing i feel like this person might be a little bit of jealous of how you've grown because clearly you know this is your energy this masculine energy here gems where you are definitely higher than the queen of swords the queen of swords is 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 given chances right given chances i feel like listening to both sides and then you know coming to some kind of libra because libra do rule the queen the queen of swords energy you know it's like com coming to some kind of compromise between the two and but the king of swords is definitely someone that has a lot of power more power and a lot of authority so a lot of resources as well a lot of experiences and this is where you are and i feel like you might be done with the compromise because of course you know the king of swords can compromise but at the end of the day like they don't want to see this happen again and again so you're definitely letting this person know if hey if things don't get better i will be taking my my leave okay and be going taking everything that i have everything that i own and that's fine i can take care of myself so you're you're just you're not you're not hiding let me just take this off i have a jacket on you guys so because sometimes it's cold in this place in my house and i have it on 79 but the ac is i guess really just brand new and it's cold sometimes when it goes on so just have to all right so here we go i feel like i'm being drawn to the tea i'm being drawn to the tea energy so let's see what we have we also have the world on the back so there's some form of completion happening here and this is decided as well with the judgment so completion gemini aquarius taurus leo scorpio we have aries and we have libra so tell me more holy spirit what is the energy what is the energy of the tea what is the energy with the tea what is the energy with the tea Ooh, reflection or reflecting really trying to heal so this is what's important right now for you is trying to heal trying to close this chapter trying to reflect on yourself okay trying to see what you need to mend within yourself within your body within your soul tell me more holy spirit all right something to do with proof getting some form of evidence as well or proof or getting some kind of information why am i seeing like you're taking pictures of a text message or you're taking some form of picture of evidence that you felt like you've been feeling about the situation i think this person is trying to manipulate your mind about certain things that you need answers to you care about this person but now you have some kind of proof that is also coming into this as well all right so tell me more holy spirit The queen rising it says stepping into power praise coming up spotlight Oof. yeah this could be a problem here this could be a problem but it's this queen as well so this message could also be in reverse so take what resonates I feel like gems, of course, you could go back and forth into feminine and masculine energy. But because, hey, you're a twin, right? <laughs> you have two sides of you. Um, but I just feel like this message can also be in reverse, too. Not reverse, but yeah, reverse, you guys. 
for some. Okay, we have Stalker here, Stalking, Watching, Obsessed. That is also coming through here. Oh, my goodness. So these are new messages. Okay, tell me more. Someone is also moving away or moving on. And this could have happened within that Ten of Swords energy. <sighs> it's just a lot going on with the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Codependent energy as well, where there's a lot of like not letting go of you, needing to survive on you. <sighs> Being lazy. Not having their own idea, just going with whatever. Wow, confirmation. <laughs> I'm going with whatever you say because they're just like living off of you. They don't have any opinion about what's going on. Yeah, somebody's watching you. I'm getting stalking, watching, obsessed, and then you have creeping right here. So look at that. Somebody is just lingering, watching you on the back of the deck. Somebody is just getting readings on you as well, doing dark magic on you and, and trying to control the situation. Okay. Oh my. Something fell here, I'm not sure what, but, oh. But that's what I'm picking up right there, which is just a little cray cray. A little cray cray. You know what? I'm just going to take this out because oh, really somebody's burning a candle on you as well. Some kind of love candle. And I talk about this all the time. Okay. So, you guys need to be careful. Um, somebody, I just feel like somebody might be cloud hungry. Okay, I feel like you have a lot of followers. I feel like you have a lot of things going on for you as well. Someone wants a piece of the pie. They don't really care about you. <laughs> They don't really care about you in that way. Like, I'm sure they love you in some form of way because you have the King of Cups here, but they're manipulating that situation, manipulating their, your feelings that you have or your relationship that you want for yourself or what you want in life. They're manipulating. They're using that against you to make you feel bad about yourself. This is in the center of all things. I do see like there is an offer here, but it's like it's very important on a logical stand-ins with this person to achieve their success first before they can show you that form of love that is necessary. This person has so many things that they're hiding, but they're not willing to show you what's really going on for some kind of specific reason right now. Okay. keep hitting the, the thing y'all um so let's see let's see what we can get this deck will be in the description box if you guys want to purchase it's called the awakening 11 11 all right so we have surrender Yuri's leo or sag energy and I feel like this was coming up for me as well. As you can see, we've had a lot of fire energy. And I was like, what's going on here all together? I mean, we do have Leo, like I said before. But it's just the angels were just like Aries, Leo, or Sag energy for those of you. It's like I'm getting that you need to surrender. It says trust but move with caution. So obviously something happened here. You don't know if you can give this person another try. And the energy is saying like you just need to release this force of energy, but just just take what you have learned 
and don't jump within the fools okay do your research and make sure you have all your facts anything that you feel like you need to talk about anything that you feel like you have needs a question needs to an answer you need to express yourself because right now the high priestess is being very silent because the high priestess feels like i know everything already i got all the information by spirit and that's enough which it what which it is but i feel like sometimes it's good too to see how someone is going to react yes you are spirited yes you are gifted but give that person a, a chance as well you know to explain so express yourself a little bit more even though they don't deserve it because i do feel like they pushed you away here to the point that and you were just given given in energy given good vibes in back to this person because you wanted them to see you because you do have a connection with this person you do feel a pull you do feel a past connection for those of you who haven't grown up together with this person you do feel a pull with this energy this is what i'm seeing here there's a pull tell me more Wow, fog and conflicted. Pride. Uh, this could be someone that you're married to. It says, I can tell you everything, but I do care. You feel like this relationship is hopeless. You're sitting there, hopeless energy. I'm seeing two rings here. And it's like this pride energy. I feel like what you don't see is a star behind you trying to work something out for you. I feel like you have a heart fog or you just don't know what to do. You can't think straight. Everything is cloudy right now. There is a decision that needs to be made here. It says here, stand by. Like... This is a pause connection, like there is no movement and that is also being confirmed here <sighs> within this energy. Hmm. Look at this. So it says, you got my heart, but not on paper. I'm stuck. You got my heart, but not on paper. I'm stuck. Hmm. I just feel like there is a family that you that you might have with this person. Like they're saying that they're stuck with you or they're stuck on you, but there is some of you aren't married and some of you are. Because I'm seeing two rings here, but this person is like, you got my heart, so they do love you, but not on paper. I'm stuck, but I'm stuck though. This could also be that they're in love with you, for some of you. Um, something ain't right here. That's, I'm feeling like something, yeah, they're giving me a stuck energy, all right? conflicted don't know what to do going back and forth within your mind you feel like this person abandoned you you feel like this person left you you feel like this person and you argue way too much hmm it says i need time to offer you the true commitment you need you see it says here I need time to offer you the true commitment you need but there's a lot of conflicts and fights and there's also this uh, like this person leaves you a lot as well like you're arguing fighting Wow. S 
So K. <laughs> Blockage beginning. Being some kind of shocking news is coming in. I feel like this is going to give you a headache as well. Like break your heart as well. Look at this person here. This is interesting. Like looking at their insides. Um, but this is going to bring a new beginning. I feel like there's a distance between you and this person, but it's this this split is necessary it's it's needed here it says time to clear your spiritual zone so it's like you're about to receive a lot of messages from your divine you're about to get some form of upgrade or understanding about why things are taking place it's like again being very spiritual i feel like a lot of you are already tapped into this energy and some of you are just beginners because it's like you have that word beginners. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm getting here. But this is like something new is coming in. Something is about to shock you as well. Mm. Look what this is. You're going to find out that there is some kind of spell work is involved because it says I want to put a love spell on you to make you love me what the freak like this person and i got this twice already i got this twice already this is a confirmation remember we talked about someone is getting readings on you someone is putting on spells or burning a candle i keep hitting you guys i'm sorry burn a candle on you or something like that I feel like you have some kind of following or your life is getting better. They want a part of it. I feel like this person is talking about you behind your back as well. You might just feel unsafe or threatened for those of you because I'm seeing the threatened in the back of the deck. Okay, let me see what this person's energy is all about, right? Let's just see what this is. First, for the next 48, because I feel like this is rough. I was hoping for something better. Your first readings wasn't so bad, but this one is a little bit getting too dark. Um, so let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's going on here? What's the energy? What's the energy? For this person solo. What's the energy for this person solo? It's coming through for gems that's coming through for gems this person's energy coming through for gems solo the lovers in reverse so this is a breakup the two of wands energy wow the well keeps coming up so obviously there's something that this person needs to share with you the king of pentacles yeah conversation oh the two of cups oh wow so you both are in reverse i feel like this person has some kind of third party situation going on here um, this is someone from their past. This is going to be very difficult to talk about. The Two of Cups is also in reverse. So you're in reverse, Gems. I mean, this is your energy right here, the lover's situation. And it's not that this is, this is just a little di different love. I feel like you both can love each other very deeply, but it's just a different vibration. But that's why it's just for me, two different people. So I feel like those two are in reverse, like this person made, had a choice to make. Look at this. 
had a choice they made the wrong choice they had so many things in the past that again they need to open up with you about they need to talk to you about and this person is blocking that force of energy um, and not telling you what's going on here and I feel like there's a lot of security here within this relationship. I feel like you guys can be opposites. So Gemini, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or even a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Because this is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, specifically Virgo, that rules that king of pentacles energy. Um, and then I'm seeing the two here. So, I mean, a lot of you could be ruled by cancer within your moon energy. Just because you're Gemini sun doesn't mean you're comfortable with that. I feel like you could be running it within your moon energy. So if you have cancer-based energy because cancer is ruled by the two of cups, or the two of cups is ruled by cancer, um, you know, that could be you as well, okay? But it depends on where you are. So did you meet this person at a party? Did you meet them having fun and being free on vacation? Or you met them, you know, at a family's barbecue or at school or in your past. Maybe you were playing the blocks. Maybe you grew up together. Um, it's, it's a little bit different how you meet, you know, this kind of energy. So, but things are shifting nowadays, so, hmm. <laughs> um, but... This is what I'm seeing here, okay? So you could be either or, but I'm seeing like there is a hiccup with the relationships that this person have in their lives. There is a conversation that is definitely needed. This could also be a Libra because they're communicating with a Libra energy. They want peace within this situation. Um, they want balance. I feel like, you know, if you know about Libras, they love to love. So <laughs> they just want to love everyone and everyone to love them. And this could be the problem, okay? Because they're dealing with two different energy. And this is what they're hiding from you. So let me get into... Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Let me put this to side. I'm being pulled here. So tell me more. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's the energy? Oh, oh, I'm just going to take the ones that I flipped over. Open heart and, oh my God, memories. So again, going back into the past. You know, going back in the past, plus we had the Six of Cups earlier, so past energy is being confirmed over and over again. It's like bittersweet kind of vibe, like this could have worked, this could have been great between both of you, but it's just the way things are going, it's just not looking that way. Um, I'm getting like the pride too with this person's energy, that's what's kicking their butts. Um... I feel like as long as you break the ice first and take responsibility, then they will definitely have be ready to have a conversation with you and the walls will go down because you're taking the responsibility, which I will never tell you to do. Um, but what I will tell you to do is just work on yourself. Do not wait for this person. All right. Especially if they're in the wrong things here. All right. So you were open hearted to this person. You you wore your heart on your sleeves here. You forgave this person more than once too. Everybody can see what you saw within this within this energy. I feel like this person has feelings for you, but they're just keeping everything to themselves, okay? Like they're so like like they're they're suppressing their energy they're suppressing their love for you like they don't want you to know they feel like this is weakness look at this pride again i feel like we had it into this deck and now it's coming out as a confirmation leo vibes oh my god ego stubbornness a lot of pride energy arrogance <laughs> oh my gosh 
Okay. Realization here. The light bulb is going off here. It's finally your understanding. Remember that um, energy that I told you you're going to receive some form of download. And here it is, that confirmation of that download. Look at this though. I don't know if you guys are going to like this because it says second chance, rolling the dice here, getting back together, making amends and opportunity. Okay. <laughs> it's like you guys are hoping for this. It's like you're planting a lot of positive seeds, manifesting, having that faith. This is, I feel like this is expected okay you're expecting this to happen because you're manifesting you're trying to bring this to life but this person has this energy i feel like this person is having some kind of challenges with how they feel um their emotions they're they were raised in a way that they're supposed to like keep whatever they're feeling inside or feel like keep things bottled up and i feel like this is the issue as well but I feel like you're going to be receiving so many messages with this realization, this light bulb going off. And you're finally understanding the situation, being awake, how to deal with this person. Every time I look at that pride card, I do see like a like Angel Michael showing up and like gentle, gentle like you know let you know to be gentle within this situation as well something flipped here distance is again coming up there is a distance between you and this person there is space there's a separation it says separation space and blockage so you guys are not speaking but i feel like Within the next 48 hours, there's going to also be... I don't feel like you're not speaking. There's conversations coming up. But I just feel like with this blockage energy, that something is being blocked. That you and this person can't get to communicate what you want to communicate to each other. To be able to move forward with each other. Okay? So, let's see. It's on the back first. Wow, thinking about you all day, every day. <laughs> this person is fantasizing about you, imagining you in dreams or daydreaming about you. <laughs> fantasizing about you, honey. They're not over you, not yet, but I don't know how they're going to do it. They have something else going on here. They got themselves in a bind. They have no other option than to tell you the truth about the Two of Cups. They made a decision. They made the wrong one. Um, I feel like they did give this Two of Cups. They chose the Two of Cups because I'm seeing like they left you for someone else as well. For those of you, they were gave it. They gave this security away. I'm seeing conversations coming up here, but this Two of Cups didn't work out. This two of cups did not work out. So it's like a lot of you are with your opposite. I just feel like you're with your opposite. And they were just with a contract because everybody has contracts, you know, not just one. I'm seeing the high front in the reverse. So there was a lot of codependent energy about this to break it off with you as well. This could have been a Taurus that wanted this to happen someone very older or stubborn as well this person doesn't compromise i feel like this could be their mom or their dad um that did not like you and was in charge but you are getting the justice it's just they made a decision but here's the justice you're going to receive the truth and this person is going to end up choosing you regardless because you're the choice the choice that they could have made the right choice you see how they made the wrong choice but you're the choice that's crazy like you're the right choice like the holy spirit is saying that you are the right choice but they chose the wrong choice they made the wrong choice here in reverse they had the two of wands you could have had the world together 
and look at the world and i just looked at the two because the two is also like someone holding the world in their hands like there's so many opportunities that could you know happen with you and this person you guys could travel together you know travel the world together within this energy and here is the world as well but this person made the wrong choice they didn't choose that they chose the two of cups and that didn't work out and now the world is here there's a completion here there is a completion tell me more holy spirit holy angels holy father there is a completion ooh, 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 ooh. one at a time you have the six of wands which i haven't saw in a while so congratulations we also have the death energy so this person is looking at you as the six of wands which is a wonderful energy um it's like they know that you're going to do big things here i'm also seeing like they haven't really moved on with their hearts oh uh, my gosh the two of pentacles you're dealing with a child again needed to make a decision here within this energy and did not or just being very overwhelmed within this energy it's like they want to make everybody happy but can't and leaving you out as well i feel like they're controlling the time i'm getting control of time here they're in and out the four of cups energy you also have the tower in reverse look at that one to come back to you wanting to rebuild with you um wanting to be happy with you oh boy oh boy you have scorpio you have um Aries within the tower i feel like this person wear a mask until the very end and now you see what kind of mask this person wears now you see their true face it's like but they're saying that you're still in love with them which this could be true even though you guys are in separation it's like you know there's still that lover's energy that passion energy um they chose you as well okay you also have three of pentacles here in reverse wow the contract or some form of contract of lessons that hasn't been learned within this person's energy and then you have the um cancer energy within the high priestess okay and then you have the six of swords so again not wanting this to happen within the death that's what they're saying they didn't want this transition to happen because these two cards are about transitions they're in reverse they're stuck they're not moving they don't understand why this is happening and you do clearly within the high priestess being in the upright you know why this is happening your spiritual you your, your you know your spiritual gift of tapped in you have received the downloads from the holy spirit because a lot of you are in an energy of realization like uh i i understand now i'm awake i understand i'm awake about the situation the light bulb went off like you get it but the second chance now what i'm picking up with the second chance because before when i was reading their energy i'm like well your energy and i tapped into this person i'm less like huh within the next 48 hours a second chance okay i didn't feel it but now i'm feeling it now but i don't question the cards okay i don't question what i get i just keep going and then you have the six of swords in reverse can't it's like not wanting this to happen but at, at the same time this person is so prideful that they didn't do anything about it they look at you as the high priestess very spiritual very powerful very mature energy even though you have your days and they chose you but is it too late because the thing about this is like they didn't choose you first you're the second choice now i feel like this person wasn't strong enough to stand up to what they believe in here we're gonna do it look at that no chasing within the knight of sword knight of uh, wands energy either so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna clarify in a moment but i feel like we need some messages right we need some messages real quick to see what's happening here
So can I get some messages from this person? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Can I get some messages from this person? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Or Gemini's. Ooh, ooh, okay now. There's a few that wants to come out, but I felt like this turned over first. Wow. Um, let's be real. You've been lying to me for a year. For for a year, okay. I feel like it's that's for years. It's time for me to do the same to you. So this is what I'm getting. And I feel like this is in red. So this is like frustration. This is anger. This is not from your person. This is from you. Because it doesn't even say from your person. So it says, let's be real. You've been lying to me for years. I'm going to put the S on that. It's time for me to do the same to you. So what goes around comes around. Remember, don't throw a stone because a, thrown, a stone has been thrown to you, Geminis. That's not the way it goes, all right? So let's see. <clears throat> tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more, tell me more. Ooh, one at a time. I know there's a lot of messages that want to come out for you. Okay, let's see. We take this one. So this is from your person right here. Okay, so you only came around when you needed something but I love you anyway. So you're, it's like this person is saying that you're using them now. You, it's because they're saying, your person is saying this, you only come around when you need something. So I feel like this relationship is either you're still together and this relationship is just not the way it used to be. The, the passion is gone the generosity of the relationship is also gone the you know it's just it's just business it just feels like business this person is saying it feels like business and but they love you anyways i don't know it's saying your person feels this way about the situation that y'all got going on okay so tell me more it's the energy. One more. One more, one more. Well, your person again. Okay. It says, I'm so attracted to you. Please come back. So there's also some form of separation. I'm so attracted to you. Please come back. Wow. It's on the back of this deck. A whole deck on book a whole book your person i feel like they're giving you a love message here it says i've made so many mistakes in our relationship you was so good to me i was abusive to you mm. that's on the back of the deck here i don't know if you guys can see that i'm trying to get my hands my nails off of the words but this is what they're saying I made so many mistakes in our relationship. You were so good to me. I was so abusive to you. This is what your person is saying. That they took this relationship for granted. They took this relationship for granted. <sighs> Oof, my gosh. All right, let's start clarifying some cards. All right, so what's the, the lover's energy, Holy Spirit, in reverse? What's the lover's energy in reverse? We have the Nine of Pentacles energy. Hmm, Nine of Pentacles, the lovers. I feel like this relationship ended because you are in, too independent here. Because they're bringing up the Nine. They're bringing up the Nine of pentacles like that's just being too independent like you don't need them you want them like that's what they were missing in some kind of this relationship like they felt like you again that business energy where did we get that yeah right here it says you only come around when you need something you only come to me when you need something but i still love you or i love you anyways so this is what's going on. You're way too strong, way too independent. Then we have the hangman here. 
I feel like this person has a form of a distance or backing up from you because of this independence. I feel like they're going to come back though. The hangman is, all you have to do is just wait this out <laughs> if you want to. All right, tell me about the two of wands, Holy Spirit. Two of wands energy, two of wands energy. You have the ace of wands in reverse. So after this person made the, this, this decision to end this relationship with you, to cut you off, because I'm seeing a cutting off energy, they want to come back now. Oh, the chariot, cancer energy, Pisces energy, major arcana. For those of you, I'm also seeing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio right here within the well. Tell me about the well in reverse. Mm. The well in reverse, the page of swords. So they want to tell you about this, but just little details, not all of it. Hmm. Wow. After they made a choice, a lot of you cut this person off too. And now that you cut them off, they're trying to return. That's crazy. Tell me about this Two of Cups energy in reverse. Two of Cups energy in reverse. The strength. The angels are saying like, please, please just, I know this is rough within the physical body because you're finding out that this person has a third party but please deal with this with ease deal with this with strength if you don't want to be with them cool but just don't act up don't plant positive negative seeds don't say something that is going to cause a karmic effect don't do something that is going to cause a karmic effect please be strong and have courage within the situation and deal with this with grace and gentleness and calmness all right, so tell me about the high, higher front in reverse, codependency. So this person is giving me like this energy, this person that is in their ears. They're pretty stuck with this person. They're giving me this stuck vibe, like they can't move. They're restricted as well. They're being told what to do within this higher font. <clears throat> their self-esteem is just messed up okay dealing with a lot of thoughts within their mind they're just feeling like everything is off they have no respect for themselves they lost this respect but they feel stuck within this energy all right so tell me about this this death energy in reverse Scorpio for those of you king of wands there's a lot of immaturity so this is this person hasn't moved on because they just don't want to solve the issues again you know I just feel like I'm just seeing you trying to solve this or you, they want you to be the one to make the first move even though they want to rebuild with you they feel like you're you still love them you still want them interesting all right tell me about this king of wands yeah they still love you but they're very immature they're acting like they're older than you they're acting like they're more mature than you but they're immature this is what i'm getting with this person honestly they're giving you the king of cups king of cups energy pisces again pisces energy coming through here I mean, you have a lot of major arcanas that's coming through, but damn. We have cancer twice. For those of you who are dealing with the cancer major arcanas, okay? Cancer energy. The high priestess and the chariot. I think a lot of water-based energy, if you think about it. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio around you it's like your opposite 
just like I picked up, your opposite is around you. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. They're overwhelmed. Wow, the 1111. So they want fulfillment. They want marriage. They want a future. They want to make a decision. And if they're going to, they just want a future. They want to know that they're on the right track. They want to know that this is moving somewhere. Like it's going to happen. Despite what they have done. Tell me about this. Um, the tower. Scorpio and Aries. Yeah, see? The tower energy and then you have the page. Not the page, the knight of cups energy. So this person wants a second chance with you. This person wants to offer you a second chance. This is a second chance being confirmed. Look at that. Rolling the dice. Uh -huh. I don't question the cards. I just let the Holy Spirit lead. Because I sometimes when I pull a card, I don't understand what the hell is going on. What? I just, you know, like how is this a second chance when I'm seeing like it's going bad? And then it just start com confirming each other within the reads. And I'm just like, okay. Wow. So it looks like you and this person is getting back together. Okay yeah rebuilding a, a relationship that went south this person chose you with an injustice they had a choice i feel like they were pressured into seeing someone else or breaking up with you for someone else and um now they're making a choice to be with you okay so we have the three of pentacles tell me about the three of pentacles in reverse holy spirit holy angel holy father we have the four of pentacles wow so again, you know, I just feel like there is a learning pattern here. Like there is some kind of lesson for you and this person that you haven't learned and it's coming back around. But I also see the hardship of the relationship where this person wants to control the, the time. And every time I get this four of pentacles, and this is why you guys are bumping heads within the three, you, you can't get along with that because you don't, you don't want this person to control anything. You want to have a mutual relationship. And this is why the tower is also showing up in reverse because you guys were bumping heads within the tower. There's way too much masculine here. Everybody wants to be in charge, right? But with even with that four that this person is coming back in and trying to give you that four again, that's something that you and this person are going to have to work on, okay? All right, because I do see like this person doesn't want it to end, doesn't want it to end but they're so prideful within their own sense that they just let things go <laughs> you know let things go here all right so we have two cards we have the eight of wands and we also have the judgment so oh this person is afraid of you afraid of you afraid of telling you something afraid of sharing something with you very quickly um and they are going to lose their chance but i feel like the angels are watching over this look at the judgment Something is already chosen here. Like this person is not making, the, it's like they're, they're not putting in the effort, but the angels are like guiding this situation anyway, despite how slow they're moving um, within this judgment energy. Aries, Libra energy, there's a need for balance here. Despite that they're not doing it, there is a need for balance. And look at this, balance again. Two of swords is ruled by Libra. Two of swords is... <laughs> this is Aries and Libra okay the two of swords is led by Libra this person doesn't want to break the bridge between two people because they these you and this person you and the person that they're dealing with the other person the third party situation I'm just getting a vibration of I knew you guys this around the same time I have different connections with you and this person and I I can't even though they're telling you like I am I am going to do this it's over it's done with it's it's just not within the two of swords they don't want to break this bond but this is what I have for the first portion of the 48 hours you guys so sorry that you guys were dealing with this let's just end this with some beautiful messages and then we're going to start the second half of the reading okay so what's the energy for Gemini's what would you like Gemini's to know What's coming in or any kind of advice for Gemini's Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father for Gemini's energy. What is it? What is the angels around Gemini's? What is going on here? What is going on for Gemini's? Ooh, that's it. <laughs> 
one at a time, please. One at a time. One at a time. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. All right. So what is this? We have Angel of Unity coming back together. I feel like within this energy, I just get back. I just get like we are stronger together than we are apart. And I'm seeing some kind of being reunited to each other and working together and making moves together. Okay. Um, look at this. Oh, we, I had this earlier today for you. And here it is again. It's it says she feels she knows so feminine energy high priestess like you're tapped into your spirituality like you feel it and you know it and i felt like that was something that we talked about earlier today within this reading within the four the 48 hours is that even though you know something let this person have their time to explain right let them have their time to interact if that's something that you want because sometimes you have the information you know and you don't need anything else but sometimes you want to see what this person have to say you know what i mean so give them that time even though you're coming up as so spiritual um within this energy i'm also seeing like you have angel of positivity so whatever this is for you just know that you're going to get through it you're you're going through a tunnel right now you're going through a lot of transitions it might look like there's no movement within scorpio in reverse remember we had scorpio in reverse within this person's energy and then we had the six of wands in reverse as well where there's a lot of lack of movement right and you're going to see the light there is going to be a light at the end of the tunnel and you're going to be in a glorious place a lightful a lightless place where you can be able to enjoy your life okay so just know that that time is coming you also have wow confirmation angel of success angel of success look at that beautiful energy so they're just letting you know that you're going to conquer your dreams, your goals, everything, everything that you, you want in life, you're going to conquer. Then you have angel of imagination. So a lot of you have been having a lot of problems with putting the pieces together or writing a book or doing something that you enjoy, you know, that gives you life and it's just been blocked. So whatever has been blocked within your life, just know that's going to be unblocked, okay? And things are going to be pouring in for you. Then you have Angel of Comfort because you have been going through a hard time. Whatever relationships has been broken, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to make sense. It's going to make sense. Some of you are jumping back into the relationship, giving this a second chance um because of communication because of you know hearing this person out as well even though she feels she knows energy within the high priestess you're still giving this person the benefit of a doubt but i feel like if you guys are make sure that you are in this place of trust and forgiveness and release okay within the ten of swords energy so this is what i have for you I feel like that's it, right? That is it. We can end this portion of the video. I hope you got some confirmation that you needed. I hope you got some enlightenment. I hope that you have the clarity that you needed as well. Make sure you guys are thumbsing up the video. As soon as this video hit 300 likes, I will be sub uh, selecting someone in the comment section for a 30 minute free session with me. So make sure you're commenting in the comment section because that's where you'll be chosen and I will post it on my community wall the winner okay so that's how that is going to go if those of you want a personal reading with me all the information is below that the offers that i do have available okay um i love you guys and i will see you guys in your next read bye guys oh commercial break now and then the next read after this <laughs> i have to remember to say that this is going to be gemini next 24 hours thank you guys for you know watching till the very end and waiting for you to get to your next read so this is your second half of the video hope you guys are enjoying this format um i am trying to put in a little bit of work on the channel but um i feel like these videos are going to be better for you so you don't have to wait for our videos to be uploaded 
so yeah let's get into it all the information is down below in the description box for me you guys um make sure you guys are liking the video as well for those of you who are watching every 300 likes i will be selecting someone in the comment section all right on the videos so make sure you guys are interacting for that and make sure you are commenting as well all right so thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> Let's see what the energy is for the next 24 hours. I feel like your last 48 was very intense. So let's see what we have here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angel Guides, Ancestors, for Gemini's. What's going on in the next 24? The next 24. Let me burn something really quickly, you guys. Um... I think this is good. It's gonna clear the space. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Move anything that is of the darkness and replace it with life for Gemini's energy. Thank you for being here and being with us. So yeah, I just need to because your last energy was very I feel like it was very um deep. Okay. <laughs> it was very deep. <laughs> So here we go, here we have it. Let me just put it in here then. One of these holes, one of these holes. I don't know which one, I think. This has something in there already. There it is, thank you. Okay, sometimes this is blocked. But here we have it. All right, so let's see. Next 24. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, for Gemini's. Next 24. Something almost flipped over. Right, so you guys have the the artists in reverse you have the ace of cups and the sun wow very strong energy i feel like definitely feel like need to be paying attention within the next 24 hours like something like the focus is off about some form of detail that's coming through that needs to come through within this energy this is also about some kind of desires of the heart okay something that you really wanted for yourself within this ace of cups i feel like you are very unhappy with the situation that is going on now so a lot of you could be facing some kind of transition um breaking up from a relationship or from a partner or leaving something that you really love behind okay and i feel like this is not the choice that you wanted for yourself within the next 24 hours this is what i'm getting and then we have the Empress here. We have the Seven of Cups here. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So Virgo energy is coming out for the Empress here. I feel like you are definitely shown as very strong, independent. You want someone to share this with. Or you're just looking for close friends, like true loyal friends and people around you. I feel like there's a lot of options. There's a lot of different people, but you can't trust them. Um everybody has a different character here i feel like this is a cycle or a pattern as well that you're facing like you're trying to find an energy that is that can make you look good in a way not that you know you want to look better than anybody but someone that can fit your life your lifestyle compliment you that's someone that compliments you that's what you're looking for and i feel like everyone that is around you right now within the next 24 hours are wearing a mask like no one is themselves <laughs> within this energy you're not wearing a mask right so you are looking for that that same energy but you don't trust anyone and it's for a reason trust your intuition because there is something that keeps happening over and over it's like you're picking out the same energy here this could also be about dating for those of you who are dating the same people or the same personalities the same characteristics and it's just going the same way it's like it's not working out for you you know all right so tell me more holy spirit holy angels holy father 
<clears throat> within this energy. All right, so we have the Four of Swords energy. We also have the Well, and then we have the Eight of Cups energy here. I feel like there's so many things that is going on around you, and it just goes deeper and deeper, and you're going to have to explore this within the next 24 hours. I feel like there's also some kind of blockage between this situation. Like you're trying to protect your mental state, your mental health, from this energy i feel like a lot of you could be look at how you're wearing this armor around you like you just don't want to be hurt especially within your chest area within your your heart chakra like you're trying to protect your heart chakra from this person i just feel like they you know get into your head a certain way like this person is just giving me a vibe like they just affect you in a way that you're just not comfortable with you can't get to, back to the place where you need to be to be successful within your life because of the energy that this this individual keeps giving you and it just go deep so this could be a family situation as well or a love situation um because it, i'm just seeing that there's so much here and there's a blockage to explore that too so it's not like they're welcoming you into this situation it's like you're blocking yourself because they're not, not they're not trying anyway so and they're triggering you because they're not trying and I'm seeing that you made a decision to walk away from this or to walk away from this person or someone walked away from you. But I'm going to see what this energy is a little bit later. We're going to tap into this, this person's energy. Then we have the hangman and we have the seven of pentacles. And then we have the hermit energy. So we have Pisces and we have Virgo. Virgo is coming up twice within the next 24. So a lot of energy of making the right decision, making the right call. Like this is important to you okay so <clears throat> i'm seeing that because you have a lot of upstanding virgo energy whoever this is though i'm just getting like this energy of them just not being able to talk to you um or meet you halfway and i'm seeing like you're getting yourself ready it's like you have two sevens here, seven of pentacles, seven of cups. Like you're preparing yourself for something, something different. Something different here. So tell me more. <clears throat> tell me more. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords. So there's no communication between you and this person. The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Cups. There's a separation here. I'm also seeing the conflicts. The Five of Wands, this is still in the present moment in the next 24. The Two of Wands energy as well in reverse. And then you have this nine of pentacles a lot of loss here but you're trying to make you're trying to make the best decision for you you're trying to get back your power you're trying to figure out like what you need to do different within the hermit energy you're taking yourself back within that energy because there's a lot of emotional loss that have happened i feel like you're still who you are you know your son is in reverse of course because you're not happy but you're still like trying to plant positive seeds and be nurturing to others as much as possible. So you're trying to get that power back within the sun. And it's because of this connection. Hmm. Pisces, I'm seeing Pisces twice, right? So Pisces is ruled by the Eight of Cups and also within the Hangman here. <clears throat> And I'm seeing like something about your intuition, like making an, a decision, a collective decision here within the Eight of Cups to kind of like separate or move on with your life because you feel like it's the best thing or the best move for both of you within the situation. Tell me about the sun energy. 
Tell me about the sun energy. You have the judgment. So there's something about karmic energy. There's something that's decided here. Aries and Libra. For those of you. This person didn't give you any kind of offer or stability. I'm also seeing Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. <clears throat> so this person is giving me an energy of wasting your time and you're realizing that within the next 24 hours. Yeah, it's like you're picking this up within your intuition, within Cancer, the High Priestess. Okay, so let's just see as I'm being pulled. Let's try the the T deck. What's the T? All right. What's the energy? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's the T? Well, I've been getting this threatening energy. <clears throat> like you feel threatened. Like you feel like you have to defend yourself. And we do have that five of wands, but I'm also seeing like, this is also about control and jealousy. I'm seeing like someone trying to get some form of information about you as well. I feel like this person could be watching this video as we speak. I feel like this person could be, you know, trying to find an advisor to get some kind of information on you or try to do some kind of spell work <clears throat> to control you. So... But I feel like this person could be, it's like I'm seeing threatening, but I'm also seeing like they could be very threatened by you, okay? Moving on. So you're leaving, you're moving. It's like you don't want to be a part of this anymore. You're saying, well, thank you, next. Like you're not interested. Like they feel like they have lost you here. Someone is burning candles for you. look at that wolf in sheep clothing so this is someone that is a parent that you can trust and then they stab backstabbed you or you had no idea you had no idea this person was capable of doing this like they didn't seem like they have this within them oh man two more please oh wow but you're unbothered Look at how you are unbothered here. <laughs> like, you don't even care at this point. <clears throat> you are unbothered. You're not stressing out. This is not what I'm getting here. You're definitely tapping into your spiritual beliefs. I do see that in the High Priestess. Like, this is a problem. I've been getting this for you all day. Like, High Priestess energy. Like, you're just, you know... And you have a lot of haters because of this energy. Because you're so powerful. Because you're so spirited. And they're trying to burn candles to kind of control you within that power. But you're already picking this up to protect yourself. And I feel like when you're tapped into spirit like this, you have a protector behind you. So they're burning candles for free. You know, they're burning candles that are just not going to work. Okay, what kind of relationship is this? What is this? What's the value? What's the vibration? Holy Angels, Holy Father. What is the vibration? Chemistry, playfulness. I feel like this person took the sun from you though. Because I'm getting playfulness here. So you used to laugh a lot when this person first came into your life. And now you just don't. It says let go of control issues, playfulness, and chemistry. So it's like you used to be very happy. You used to be very blissful, joyful, young as well. You kind of you could have met this person when you were very young. And now things have changed where you're just not smiling anymore. But you're still who you are. The high priestess. Someone wants a second chance on the back of the deck. This is what you just don't see. <laughs> they messed up. They left you, abandoned you. And here they are with this Knight of Cups coming in like nothing never happened. 
you're not talking to this person right now okay this is what i'm seeing so or this could be the future energy because i'm pulling from the back of the deck so future vibes <clears throat> not in the present moment but in the future so some of you could be still talking to this person but going through a transition within the next 24 hours this person looks like looks like she was the queen of pentacles so that stability energy again the empress the queen you have the queen of wands queen of pentacles you are all four queens you're that powerful they're not going to find someone like you they're just not and you know then you're spirit you're spirited on top of it and they're not trying to give you any kind of offer but like let's see where things go because i like you a lot i want a second chance kind of vibe <laughs> okay okay let's see i'm being pulled here all right so what's going on with this energy Ooh, you have a lot of things that you're thinking about you have to come to some kind of calm like commun some kind of decision that you have to make yeah a big decision heavy thinking yep that's what it is <clears throat> a lot of you are just having that coffee or that tea right now finding that solitude or that space trying to be alone and quiet and don't do anything like you're just like they don't understand like why you're so quiet high priestess energy you're just in this high priestess energy not showing any kind of emotion not having any form of action and they're like worried about this all right so we have the commitment coming in commitment an offer of loyalty so that's the second chance here new perspective looking at things in a whole different light looking at things in a whole different light i'm also seeing gift it says cosmic gift a um, major blessing is coming to you but you need to release this force of energy like you're receiving something but you have to release it's like given and to receive or given and taken like you know um a balance it's like the holy spirit is like you need to release move on let go and trust your angels you don't you if you don't trust your angels and you're not into this energy then you're not going to receive this cosmic gift which i feel like a cosmic gift is so much more i will take that any time okay any place um so <clears throat> and then you have attraction here so there is some kind of flame that keeps bringing you guys together i feel like this person is a player they're giving me a chaser, someone that is trying to pursue you, but then they don't go farther than that. And I feel like a lot of you, why well, these cards are leaving my hands, leaving or trying to leave. It says lessons. It says moving forward. Like you learned your lesson here. You are moving forward now. You're not trying to go back to this person. And this is the bitterness. I'm just seeing childhood. Something about this person is giving me like this energy like... You and this person has some kind of history together because they keep talking about the past bringing you back into the past um the two of cups is in reverse i mean this person took a lot from you there's this still this five of wands this competition as well arguing and fighting and losing just a lot of yourself when you are with this person you lose a lot of yourself within this relationship okay so let's see what we have for this person's energy and then we're gonna confirm some things we're gonna use a different deck okay because i feel like we need to switch this up we have a couple here, but we're just going to use this one. This is my next favorite one. And we're going to put this back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh. All right, let's shuffle. Thank you, Angel Eyes Ancestors. What's going on for this person, Energy Solo? 
don't have anything of the negative from this person's energy. I'm in a place of positive energy as I get in to protect me and as I release to protect me as well. Thank you. Divine God. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, look at that confirmation. Someone that is just, I'm just getting like, this is crazy because before we pulled some cards here and we got this passionate person that is a chaser, have pursued coming toward, coming for you. But I'm seeing here, this person has no confidence within themselves. So this is what I'm talking about. It's like, I'm seeing like this coming towards you because I picked it up and then they don't have anything else to offer you. Like they stop after that. It's like they go for the passion, the lust, the attraction. And when it gets too serious, then they don't have any form of offer left to give to you within this energy, within this space. So this is what I was worried about. And here it is. It's like the, the Knight of Wands energy where, you know, there there's no confidence there. There's no long term, you know, chase there. Um, I just feel like this person is just so comfortable with other people. They don't like to put in that energy. They feel like it's um like it's just a lot of work. It's draining to pursue someone uh, a, like a large amount of time or to really dive into some form of a commitment. But I am seeing commitment here. So a lot of you could have been married to this person because I'm seeing rings or engagement. Like you thought this was a commitment, you thought it was going one way, it says offer of loyalty that was given here. But then you're going through this change. Look at that, four of cups. <laughs> so tell me more, Holy Spirit. All right, so. Wow, the nine of pentacles again. <laughs> In reverse you have lost your power and you're not afraid anymore because you feel like you have lost a lot this is how they're looking at you and then I'm seeing the high priestess not high priestess high ferrant why do I keep saying that <laughs> high priestess um, hmm interesting <sighs> tell me more so Taurus energy I guess because I don't see that card a lot. Like I, I see it a couple of times today, but I just I just don't see that card a lot when I read. Not anymore. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, the page of cups, the six of wands. So they look at you as a very successful person. I feel like this person has been keeping up with everything that you got going on within your life. But I'm also seeing that. Um, they want a second chance. I'm seeing a second chance here. Let's see where things go. But again, you know, this is where the second chance and the Knight of Wands will be good together where they're kind of like balancing that out of giving you, showing you the heart energy and then showing you a lot of that determination and boldness and movement, right? And really showing you, not just saying that they want something, but showing you as well. And this person is just not showing you. I'm not seeing that. I just feel like there's a lot of chemistry here, a lot of playfulness, a lot of flirt flirting as well when you guys are in the right space of mind. But other than that, that's it. And it's not your fault within the next 24 hours. And this is someone that you want to settle down with. This is someone that you want to be serious with within the high front. Because there's a decision that this person made too, as well. I feel like they're coming up as the high front here. Like they're making a decision to kind of work this out. Or they're telling you they want to work this out. But there's no action. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see what this person... Clarify the high front, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Clarify the high front. Clarify the high fraud. Let's see. The apology, which is not bad. It's 
So they're coming off as very sorry about leaving you or betraying you or abandoning you, leaving you in cold, leaving you in the cold. Okay, they were codependent on you as well. They were using you. Yeah, the Empress and then the Five of Pentacles. They were using you here. This is in the upright, by the way, and the, the Empress is in reverse. This was a mistake within Virgo, for those of you, like you just knew that. <laughs> you wanted to take this back by giving this person a shot or a chance, but you just couldn't. And now you're having some kind of apology coming in, friendship vibes. You know, this person is, is very much used to being a friend to you, not so a, a person that you show a lot of interest in you because even with the four is like they can't get over this four of cups and <clears throat> this four of cups is like in and out energy like a friend will do <laughs> but i'm seeing like they're apology apologizing here the five of pentacles this could be money issues as well this person could have owed you something because i feel like this person was using you in some form of way within the empress living off of you being lazy as well taking your ideas having you do their work or take up their burden and i feel like within the five of pentacles a lot of you have a lot of burden on your back due to this person this could have been a loan as well like they just tricked you into signing some kind of paper um some kind of documentation hmm interesting interesting all right tell me more All right, so you have ooh the chariot you have the three of wands and you have the five of swords the chariot the three of wands and the five of swords ooh in the upright <laughs> so the five of pentacles you have the five of swords i don't like this i mean there's a lack of stability and also there's a lot of stabbing in the back within this energy there's a lot of just laughing in your face too because they win or because they have that power over you within this energy they created some kind of distant away from you emotionally or physically they created this because of their way and this person had the nerve to just want to show up within the chariot and again this is about the bedroom okay there is no determination there i'm gonna clarify this chariot and see if we could get something from there tell me about the chariot energy holy spirit holy angels clarify this chariot energy clarify this chariot energy chariot energy hmm the death the transition all right tell me more look at that yeah this person cannot give you what you want they cannot give you what you want in the next 24 hours it's like a transition is happening here and it's just going to happen very suddenly it's necessary as well within the death within scorpio we have cancer's major arcana as well i'm seeing the knight of swords being blocked i'm seeing the the, the six of pentacles and the four of pentacles so there's going to be balance back into this situation but not from this person because you're letting this person go and this person is blocked the holy spirit is bringing back what you have lost within this energy so this person is giving me like this spending issue because the four of pentacles this person is spending money or trying to control the security of the situation so they they this could be that they were trying to control your money they were trying to control you and you're letting this go you're moving on from this situation you have to they look at they look at you as moving on like the four of cups the four of pentacles like you got somebody else or you're seeing somebody else or you're interested in somebody else 
that's how they're looking at you <clears throat> tell me more the star in reverse so this is hopeless helpless you feel like there is going to be a lack of help from the universe well, at least this is how this person looks at this but I'm seeing the Ten of Cups here. Wow, the, the King of Cups and then you King of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm also seeing like, you know, I, I feel like this person act like they have everything and they can help you with whatever you need. But I'm just seeing like this person is, act, is really avoiding that situation by helping you or giving you what you need. I'm seeing a lot of love here that is coming out for this person's energy and the Ten of Cups. You know, I feel like this person likes you very much and wants to give you a long-term commitment. But this person is avoiding the situation, avoiding the stability, this security. You know, it's like they, they have a picture of what this could be and they know that we can, you guys can have that. But they're avoiding that in the King of Pentacles. Plus, you have the Five of Swords. I mean, that, and I don't see no Ace of Swords in the upright coming out here so far. All right, so you have the Star, you have the Seven of Cups, and then you have the King of Wands. Very immature energy, very stubborn, very hard headed energy. Someone that is a follower here. I feel like they're following other people and having all these other situations unfold in. And this is a constant vibration because in the star, you feel like within this energy, like this happened before. This is hopeless. This is helpless. What am I going to do? I can't do nothing to, to make this work. Like you feel like you just, you're losing it. You're losing it within this energy. Aquarius, for those of you that are still within Aquarius and the star. Hmm. All right, so let's um, start to get these messages <laughs> clarified here. All right, so what's the Knight of Wands energy? Why is it in reverse? Ooh, that was fast. There's a lot of history here between you and this person and also a lot of burden. A lot of burden that this person is carrying with this Knight of Wands energy. They have a lot of responsibility, so that's why they can't get to you. That's why they can't show you what you need within this relationship. Tell me about the Four of Cups, Holy Spirit. What's the Four of Cups energy? The Four of Cups energy. <clears throat> What's the Four of Cups energy? Thank you. You have the Page of Pentacles. Again, all about stability, not getting that message or information to be able to give you what you need. I don't feel like this person can give themselves what they need at this point. I feel like this person is wearing a mask. I mean, we did see the Empress in reverse. Like, we did see, like, this person that was given, a, given like, codependency or something like that within the next 24 hours. <clears throat> so this person is wearing a mask, acting like they're the King of Pentacles. But they're not. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about this nine of pentacles because they ripped this from you because they were juggling you with other people yeah because i'm seeing mutual partnerships right here you're saying this is hopeless helpless like you just can't see the light at the end of this you can't so this is in reverse this two of pentacles is also coming up as someone that doesn't want to choose someone that doesn't want to make a, a choice <clears throat> Okay, so tell me about the Three of Wands energy in reverse. Wow, no communication here. So this is why it is such a distance between you and this person. They're saying there's like no conversation. This could be someone that you haven't been dealing with. In the next 24 hours, this person is coming back in. 
but there's no communication this is why the distance were this is why this is like the three of wands now the three of wands is also giving me vibes like this person is watching you from afar and also like this person left you for someone else because this is the three of wands in reverse but what they attempted in the five of pentacles because they left you very cold without any security without any clarity without any closure they left you within this energy and you're you have been trying to yeah there's for the empress i know i saw the empress in reverse so this person has been well you have been trying to get yourself back together because they're even letting me know that you have been trying you've been doing this all by yourself and they're coming in to apologize about that activity but let me see about the five of swords Five of Swords energy, please. The Five of Swords energy. What is the Five of Swords energy? <clears throat> That's the Nine of Swords energy. The Nine of Swords energy <clears throat> in reverse. Gemini's, that is your energy. And you're releasing this person after they betrayed you. Aquarius, anybody? Anybody's dealing with an Aquarius here? We're getting Aquarius in the Five of Swords here, and then you have it in the, the Star energy as well. And I'm seeing like you are, <laughs> you're just releasing this depression, stress, anxiety, this worry, this fear. Okay, and they're saying like, they're seeing that you're releasing, like they're losing their grip on you. So tell me about this night. This Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords energy, Knight of Swords energy, <clears throat> the Nine of Wands energy. There was just too much trials and tribulations, so a lot of you blocked this person, and you just didn't want to fight anymore for this connection. You guys didn't get along anymore. You guys were fighting all the time, bumping heads. Within the Three of Pentacles, this could be at school or at work or around friends. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles energy, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. The Eight of Swords. So you just felt trapped and lied to and you felt like you've been tricked as well within this energy, this person's energy, within the next 24 hours, you feel like this person have played you, played with your heart, made you look like a fool. Even now, it's like you still, it's like you're faking it because I'm seeing like you're getting out of this depression and anxiety and stress and just releasing that energy, right? But it's like you're still feeling inside, like you're trapped, you're tied down, your self-confidence is gone your value is gone because this person put that energy upon you tell me about that the fools in reverse you do not trust this person anymore so this is why you let this person go with the fools in reverse tell me about this king of pentacles like you are just proceeding with caution with that fools in reverse. Proceeding but with caution. Tell me about this King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, the Six of Cups, the contract. So this person is avoiding the situation because the pull is strong. I feel like this person wants to be with you, just like I said, but they're avoiding this. Look at this. The Ten, the... the King of Cups energy and the King of Pentacles. They're avoiding you, knowing that they want a happily ever after with you. They want a future with you. This is future vibes within Pisces, Pisces. And then this is ruled by Virgo. This is ruled by Scorpio. So, but they have the number, they have the six energy, the number six, which is your contract. So it's like there's a contract here between you and this person and there's a past life contract as well. I'm seeing past life issues as well that's coming up. Um, some of you might have known each other since childhood. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the hell? 
on the back of the deck. I had to take up this child, inner child energy. <laughs> it says here, childhood wounds, okay? So you're dealing with a lot of past situations here. It says communication open 24 hours, text, call in, confession, unblocking in the next 24 hours you have hold on now let me put this let me just put this up because <clears throat> this is getting juicy all right so and i'm seeing here you have a lot to say you have unfinished business because you have not told this person what's on your mind holding back not saying much what's on the back jealousy um watching what is this watching green eyes monster whatever that might mean i feel like jealousy someone is jealous of you uh or this person could be having hazel eyes green eyes i mean there's something about their eyes uh maybe they have light brown eyes right hazel looking at eyes or something like that but something about their eyes watching green-eyed monster watching green-eyed man oh my gosh jealousy jealousy that's what i'm getting here but i was just like what the hell out of 78 cards really i you cannot yeah you guys have unfinished business with this person this is coming up as someone that has some kind of childhood connection with you maybe you guys were raised on the same block or you know your friends or your your siblings were friends with them um this could be a past life situation a past life situation you guys this is just crazy 24 hours open communication confirmation <laughs> confirmation <coughs> excuse me all right so we have the star energy please what is the star energy what is the star energy in reverse okay the four of swords so this is the window it's like you're feeling like it's it's, it's like this person is giving you this hopeless energy because they have the star within their cards but then they're, I'm clarifying it, and it's like there's a window of this block. Like something has been blocked here, but there's a window. Like some kind of communication is going to come in, it's going to happen. Tell me about this King of Wands. <clears throat> King of Wands energy, which is, wow, it's not what it seems. Ace of Swords. Oh, did you guys, okay, so remember I said, oh, I see this, the Five of Swords, right? I saw the Five of Swords, and I don't see the, the Ace of Swords yet. Um, for me, my angel guys always give me the Ace of Swords if it's okay, but I'm not going to give you the okay to kind of like trust this person on a full 100% level because this person still has this Five of Swords in the upright. I just feel like within the Ace of Swords, within their energy, there is their angel guides, right, that is learning, that is teaching them, that is trying to show them how they hurt other people and how they felt at this moment so they can have that same energy they can have that that understanding that light bulb that realization so they're being worked on but this person is not yet ready okay so i'm also seeing the 10 here the 10 of pentacles on the back of the deck in the future vibes so they want to be with you <clears throat> they want some kind of legacy with you but they're looking at you very logically. What can you do for me? You see that Queen of Wands? You're nurturing, you're kind, you're forgiving, you're, you have a lot of empathy, okay? And you're, and you're giving this person everything that you have built. There is a cycle in the future. This person is not going to be able to give you that Ace of Cups or that Ten of Cups energy. Empty promises here. Wasting your time. And again, cycle energy, <laughs> the ace, the king of swords in reverse, no communication again, again. So you guys have to find a new found of way to deal with each other. Okay. If you want this to work, if you don't want this to work, then I mean, the contract is still there, but you don't have to be together. You could just be friends. I mean, this is how this person looks at you anyways, as a friend, 
they're giving you the four of cups the four of pentacles like they don't want to give you a real connection <sighs> like that's what they're comfortable with i feel like when they're pushed they are more into like an energy of what is it an energy of like okay i'm gonna give you what you want you know and that's not how to build a relationship because they don't want to lose you so they feel like they're being forced into it <clears throat> So let's see what we have here. What's this person's feelings for Gemini's? <clears throat> What's this person's feelings for Gemini's? 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 Spirit, Holy Angel, Holy Father, Angel Guys, Ancestors, thank you for being here and protecting as I get into the energy for Gemini's. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so this person is surprising me a whole lot, you know? Um, they have the magician in the upright on the back of the deck in the future energy. They also have the apology twice over. They have the ace, the, the, the sun energy, and then they have this eight of swords. So they know that you're going to get yourself out of it. I feel like this person wants to tell you the truth, wants to make you happy. Um, this person wants to be able to give you back what they have took from you, like your value, your self-confidence, you know, just making you feel trapped or restricted or making you feel like you were buried or you were stripped or you were just looking really stupid in front of other people. You know, they want to take that all back. I feel like this person is giving me like a, it's a, a huge regret here, what they have done to you as well. And I'm seeing like they look at you as a sun, as like this queen of wands energy that you were shown up as. And I talked about that for a brief moment. And it's like, yeah, they really look at you as a sun. But at the same time, you have to realize you have to protect yourself, not just with this energy, with everyone. Because the sun, when you are the sun energy, everybody is made of the sun, the divine God, right? And everybody has a light. Everybody, sh their light shine or their, sh their light is a different color and vibration. It depends on how they're feeling that time, right? But everybody has a light. Everybody has is energy. And this person, not knowing, not seeing your light with these human eyes, but they are attracted to your light. So you might be very blissful or playful. And that came up too, the playful energy here. The playfulness okay so this is what they were attracted to in that chemistry and they will just take that away from you because you're, you're a fuel station you're a fuel station and you like to give you like to make sure that everybody is okay and you think about yourself last and I'm seeing like this person wants to come in and apologize for that because they really do value you and want you um, in their lives so that was interesting to see and I'm then I'm seeing the magician here which is like a lot of power a lot of prayer a lot of manifestation a lot of hoping as well a lot of activating themselves as well so this person really wants positive vibration to come into their life which is very wow it's like really crazy but I do see like this person is struggling with a lot of mental and physical agony okay within the ten of swords and I'm getting like the four of cups like this four of cups is something I feel like this four of cups is like they're like thinking that you moved on or you're just ready to venture out um, some of you might have someone else at this point within the next 24 hours um, and then you have the ace of swords um, so they feel like they haven't remember when I told you like this person is not ready this person is not ready now you have the ace of swords in reverse for this person's energy because I saw the five of swords in the upright and I just knew without the five of swords being in reverse with that ace of swords in the upright it wouldn't make sense this person is not ready on a spiritual level to give you what you want but they want to do so much but they just feel like you know they just feel like you know what maybe this this right here this transition is is needed for now for now if you guys are going to be together then there's going to be a choice look at that wow the two of cups 
I mean, not the Two of Cups. Well, the Two of Cups is here too, but I'm not, I'm not at that yet. The Two of Wands energy, like they want to give you a choice, like to make it your choice to be with them, to resolve this Five of, five of Wands energy. Because look at that, we are not, they're open to it. They're open to it. The Two of Cups energy. Wow. That is crazy. All right, y'all. So let me just clear this up and get some spiritual energy i think i'm going to use the divine deck if you guys want to copy the uh copies are still available okay just email me at the scene tarot at gmail.com so let's see what we have what we have ooh, ooh, ooh. cards are slipping cards are slipping and look what flipped over it says the third the, the third three of swords here and you have the divine hears you so there's a lot of praying there's a lot of asking questions being lost within this energy it says manifestation prayer your hopes your wishes you're not alone because they hear you a lot of you are going through some kind of heartache or um it says separation bad breakup sadness healing okay it's like you're going through it within this energy And it's crazy how manifestation is coming back up because this person is also manifesting. And it's so, like, I didn't ever get that within their energy. But they are manifesting. When it comes to you, they're just hoping and waiting. <laughs> hoping and waiting. Thinking about you like crazy. All right, now tell me more. Look at that, 11-11, make a wish. It says, Spirit have heard you. Another like manifestation, like confirmation. Spirit have heard, heard you. Receiving gifts, wishes, and desires are on the way. Angel number 11-11. A lot of you should be seeing 111 or just 11 a lot or 11-11. All right, look at this. Codependency, attachment. I'm just seeing like you're trying to remove yourself. It says attachment, removal, rebirth, fresh start. Number three. You have the three of pentacles, yeah, the three of pentacles, the three of wands. Like you're trying to remove yourself from this energy because I'm just seeing like right now, even this person is saying like right now, maybe the separation is, is it's like they feel like that's, that's needed. Like a separation for you and them is needed. It's not a permanent one. Like they're not looking at this as a permanent one, but they feel like you guys need space to grow. Okay, Gemini, this is you. Wind energy. It says, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, there's a message. Be free. Be free. It's crazy. The wind. Like the wind. And look at the kid. It's a kid on there. So go back to being a child. Go back to being blissful, youthful, um, happy, smile. Like a lot of smiles and this joyful Things are just way too serious right now. Then you have water energy as well. This is the ace. So this is a lot of emotions that are going to be coming towards you. This is a lot of feelings. And it says emotional acceptance completely opened. So don't, don't, I feel like a lot of you, again, you know, every time I've seen emotional energy coming in for your re, like whether it's the ace of cups, because this is considered the ace of cups, you know. It's like it's okay to be emotional, even though you're Gemini and people think that you're supposed to be strong all the time and be cold. You, some of you are not built that way. Some of you have water based energy within your chart. Some of you could be Cancer Moon, for goodness sakes, and you're just as sensitive as Scorpio or Pisces. Um, you know, Scorpio doesn't show their sensitivity, but you know what I'm saying Pisces and Cancers. I mean, <laughs> specifically cancers um so you know you could be so 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 sensitive and it's okay like the holy spirit is letting you know like that energy is okay and once you accept that everything will fall into place so you have somebody crushing on you as well you have someone here that wants to give you red roses it says deep love and respect appreciation romance and passion this is also about your six but i feel like it's both of you so this is someone that is going to last for a while um this is someone that can last forever for you okay it's like your match your your um your equal because that 12 divided into two is what 12 divided into two is what six 
Yeah. So I feel like that is your equal, isn't it? <laughs> that is your equal, that red rose. This person is going to let you know. So I feel like um I feel like this water-based energy as well is like letting you know to get ready for that. Because it came right after this. It's just like I'm just being drawn to this too. You're going through something right now, it's okay. You're manifesting, you're healing. Just know that everything is on the way for you. Wow, new relationship, you see? Oh my god, I can't. I, I scare myself sometimes, I really do, because oh gosh i just get confirmations like that the holy spirit is like girl <laughs> out of a hundred cards a hundred freaking cards i'm shuffling and i'm just picking up like this is a new relationship and someone that could be like water-based that's what i was getting because it's like they're they're prepping you or preparing you to like tap into your emotions because this person that's coming in is going to be someone that is not afraid to tell you how they feel this person is a deep love and respect. They love everything that you are. Appreciation. So most likely a lot of you, this person is already in your life. Um, this could be at work though. I think that this is coming off as somebody at work that is like crushing on you. Um, they have a lot of romantic feelings and passion towards you. And this is a new relationship. This is what scared me when it came out. It's like a confirmation. Yeah, a new relationship. Not a past relationship, a new one. This is a choice, number two. This is your equal that's coming towards you. So this could be your soulmate. <laughs> a lot of you could be dealing with like the past relationship. I mean, I do see that two of cups when I was doing this reading, but this seems like your equal. Like that person that was coming in is acting like a soul contract, like a soulmate contract, but it's not. It's just a soul contract. And it's deep because it's the, it's the Six of Cups too. But it's like, no, that was something that you need to experience. And this is a new one. This is a new one, but this is your equal. This is your 12. Mm-hmm. Okay, now. But it's water-based. It's, it's built with love. I'm seeing ego. I'm seeing fire elements. Some of you could be dealing with the fire elements, Aries, Leo, or Sag. But this is also an A, so there's a lot of movement. That's what that card means, the divine of fire. There's a lot of movement with someone that is very difficult to deal with, someone that has a lot of ego problems, someone that is very stubborn here. This could be a Leo, this could be a Capricorn, this could be a Taurus. Um, this could be what? An Aries? Did I say Aries already? Scorpio. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just seeing a lot of fire base. Scorpio is fire as well, so that's why I said Scorpio. They could just jump back and forth. Um... So there's a lot of stubborn there, stubbornness, okay? But there's also a lot of movement with this person. This could be a child for the, some of you that you're dealing with. Like your child that is just giving you a lot of difficulties or someone that is quite young. Yeah, community, celebration, friends and family getting together. I'm getting a journey alone and blessed union no one can break. So it's like getting back together with someone and having some kind of relationship. I feel like there's going to be a journey alone first. It's like you're taking a step back from this. You're taking a step back from this situation because it's just too much within the nine energy. You're going through a lot of trials and tribulations trying to understand this situation. And this is... I feel like when you come back from this hermit energy, Virgo, you're going to be in a better place where you, you're going to meet this person halfway. This is another, tw this is 21. If you flip that, it's 12, right? <laughs> but this is 21, so this is decided and there is movement behind this. So this person is coming back into your life. Some of you, I mean, you're going to choose to start again with this energy that's coming back in the next 24 hours. Not yet, yeah, the next 24 hours, but I just feel like there's another option here 
this is your equal but some sometimes even though they're your equal and I say this a lot within my reads that even though they're your equal and this might just be your soulmate coming in it doesn't always mean that you're going to choose your soulmate that's the crazy thing about life because if you are so in love with this person that is coming in and giving you all these trials and tribulations and there's this energy of like marriage already so a lot of you could be married because it says blessed union somebody did vows here no one can break never let go of me again it's like this situation is going to make you closer this split is going to make you closer so a lot of you might just end up being friends with this new person but they have a lot of love for you okay and respect and appreciation and i felt like this was someone that you already knew but this is what i have for you guys i'm gonna end this look at this look at this on the back please marry me oh my god i'm starting over renewing vows i'm hearing vows here so engagement marriage this is what you don't see coming look at that angel gabrielle is saying keep moving forward a lot of you are stuck stuck within the nine of swords within worry and stress and depression and it says choose love not fear everything that you're worried about is already protected or forgiven it says remember that good karma shall follow you always and forever and you have angel raphael showing up here divine calls angel raphael emotional healing and love 777 so this person is helping you to heal this angel as a person angel is helping you to heal especially your heart chakra it's like they're it's like he's trying to like bring that back to where it needs to be because without that chakra and that light you're going to be stuck okay so i'm seeing like healing emotionally and then being able to receive love again which is here because this angel brings love and protect the one protect protects let's see this new relationship this new person that's supposed to come in for you that's what angel Raphael does I love that angel okay so you have him protecting this this new water base of flow of emotions and i feel like this angel wants you to just tap into that wants you to accept who you are okay and then you're going to get the gift and remember we saw a cosmic gift as well so you know just congratulations for those of you who have been waiting for this opportunity this is what i have for you look at that we have movement <laughs> and look at that the path of gold the path the path of gold look at that it says path to success riches fulfillment happiness and victory i could go on and on but you have movement here you have traveling coming home rest trip leaving behind moving forward so there's a lot of movement a lot of fire energy within the divine of fire everything is coming out of out of place here um one more look at that some of you could be dealing with look at this this is crazy look at this some of you are dealing with a twin flame connection some of you are dealing with a soulmate connection omg like i explained to you before you don't have to end up with your soulmate <laughs> and you don't you know it's up to you because guess what it's by choice with that too okay so and it's crazy how this two this is two this is two this is also two but two and two is four so this is equals to four it's just all it's all connected it's crazy but i love you guys and i will see you guys in your next read um don't forget you guys all the information is down below don't forget to thumbs up the video um because once we hit the 300 we're going to select one of you for a 30 minute free session so let's keep that going you guys and yeah i'll see you guys in your reading tomorrow. Bye guys.